This is a map of MIT. I'm going to go through sort of a little example to motivate why we would want to do branching in our, in, our, um, in our code. And I think after this lecture, you'll be able to sort of code up this algorithm that I'm going to explain. So most of us see MIT as a maze. I first did when I came here. When I first came here, obviously, I signed up for the free food mailing list. And MIT being a maze, I had no idea where to go, right? What the shortest path was to free food. So one way to, to think about it is all I wanted to do was get to the free food. A very simple algorithm to get there would be to say, okay, I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna make sure that my right hand is always on a wall, okay? And I'm gonna go around campus with my right hand always being at a wall and eventually I'll get to where the free food is. I might not, there might not be any left, right? But I'll be there, okay. So the algorithm is as follows, okay? If my right hand always has to be on a wall, then I'm gonna say, if there's no wall to my right side, then I'm gonna go right until I get to a wall. Then, if there's a wall to my right and I can go forward, I'm just gonna keep going forward, okay? If I keep going forward and there's a wall to my right and in front of me, I'm gonna turn around and go left, okay? And then, if there's a wall to my right in front of me and to the left, then I'm gonna turn around and go back. So with this fairly simple algorithm, I just follow the, the path, always keeping the wall to my right, and eventually I end up where I need to be, okay? So notice I used, just in plain English, a few keywords, okay? If, otherwise, things like that. So in programming, we have those same constructs. And those same sort of intuitive words can be used to tell Python to do something or to do something else or to choose from a different um, set of possibilities. And this way we can get the computer to make decisions for us. Now you might be thinking, well, you said that computers can't make decisions on their own. It's not. You as programmers are going to build these decisions into the program, and all the computer is going to do is gonna, say, is gonna reach the decision point and say, okay, this is a decision point. Should I go left or should I go right? Or which one do I pick? And these sort of decisions are created by you as the programmer, and the computer just has to make, make the decision and choose a path. Okay. 